What can I do to help? Well, it's a question we've heard a lot recently when it comes to supporting healthcare workers. Recent weeks, days have been, well, some of the hardest our frontline workers have had to deal with. To be honest, there doesn't seem to be an end in sight right now, especially given what we've seen when it comes to the projections that they're handing out this week. Healthcare leaders have called on the community. We need your support, they say, in some way. A group of friends thought they could do something small to show that appreciation, and now they're inviting the community to join them. Joe Paris takes us to Garden City, where tonight the focus centers on thanking healthcare workers in a colorful way. Oh, I'm an artist. I, I have a show here tonight. I'm, I have a studio at home and I, I paint. Canvas is usually the backdrop for Sally Stevens. That's what I do mo most of the time. More recently, Stevens has taken her art to a harder surface. Well, rocks are a lot easier. <laughs> They're a lot easier and a lot quicker. Instant gratification. The move to rocks isn't about it being the hard or easy way. The inspiration comes from her neighbor, a critical care nurse at St. Luke's. I asked her, what can I do to help? And she just said, maybe paint some rocks. You know, that would be a really easy thing to do. So my friends and I just gathered a bunch of rocks and we painted. The paint powers messages of support. Thank you, you are golden, um, we love you, good karma, you are a star, you're strong, you're brave, um, mostly thank you, and ro you rock, that's another one. Steven says from the stories her neighbor tells her alone, it's apparent, healthcare workers need our support. It's been draining, it's really hard, and she, they've lost so many people, and they've actually lost some of their staff, which has been really hard, and she works she has four children and she still works like 12 hours a day or whatever, you know, she's working really hard. I wanted to give back. I want to do what I can to help the poor medical people that are just struggling with this pandemic. And you see them on TV and they're, you know, they're worn down, they work so hard and, uh, you know, what can we do? And this is a small gesture. Stevens is working with St. Luke's to place the rocks outside their hospitals for healthcare workers to see as they go in and out. The small sediment gesture may soon grow much larger. Stevens is now inviting the community to paint with her. It helps answer a community question. What can I do? It's a catharsis, you know, it's like I can help a little bit with this rock that says I love you or thank you or whatever. And then the people who receive it know that the community is, has their back. As she creates, Sally Stevens says she thinks about the people who have worked for months inside our hospitals. Those people are definitely heroes. The, there's so many, you know, it's the, it's the nurses, the doctors, the aides, the housekeeping, everybody. They're all working so hard. And it's like, we need to let them know we care. Painting on canvas is certainly still a priority, but rocks will likely continue for a while. I don't think the pandemic's going to be over anytime soon. So I think painting rocks is going to be something that we're going to be doing for a while. All right, Joe, I'm sure a lot of people see that and go, OK, how can we help with this? How can we paint enough rocks to cover the entire entrance of all St. Luke's hospitals? So actually at 530 today at Urban Gallery in Garden City, uh, Sally Stevens, the artist we just heard from, she has a table that you saw out in that story. She's asking anybody to come by and paint rocks and write a message on it. I know I'll be there. I know a lot of our coworkers are going to head down right after work. And I know that it may not be convenient tonight from 530 to 830. But as you heard Sally say, they're anticipating they're going to do this more and more. And when I speak with our friends over at St. Luke's, mm -hmm. they say, well, we're really hoping this spreads to other parts of the state as well. And gestures like this. Yeah. So I have a feeling whether it be Sally's event or, or another community event, we're going to see a lot of rocks being painted and placed outside of St. Luke's, St. Al's, Primary Health, everywhere. It's a small gesture we can do, but um, when you talk to healthcare workers, it, it really does mean a lot. It would be cool if a lot of people showed up there tonight and subsequent nights, and they could fill these up by the truckload and bring them to these hospitals. That would be great. And one thing healthcare workers can do is they can pick up one of these rocks and yeah. say, thank you, you're valued. They can put it right in their pocket and feel it with them all day if they ever need a reminder. That's true, and it, you can feel it right there in your pocket all day long. Yeah. All right. Good story, Joe. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks.